times now. <laughs> We're back to that spot. It's this is another good viewpoint. Yeah, it's really cute, pretty between the um, and Now we are in Aya Piccola, the other part of old town. Yes, we and walked here and had pictures other, here. So. Uh, the other area from here. Okay, so, um, well, we are in the, mm, the smallest part of the old town of Agrabello, and which is called Aia Piccola, Rione Aia Piccola. Well, as you can notice, truly are, um, tr are um, conical roofs, I have conical roofs. And there was a lady who uh, asked me about um, the stones. She asked me, uh, how can truly can uh, be standing if there's no cement between the stones? Well, this is a very interesting question because um, under the first layer of stones called Chiancarelle, there are, the, there are other two layers. So, the first part of the roof is composed of, typic of mm, stones which are very typical of um, the underground of this area, and the na their name is Chiancarelle. Then there's a medium layer, which is full of scarde. Scarde is a dialect term, and it refers to um, irregular and small stones, which were not good for the internal or the external part of the roof of, or the wall. So they were used to build this medium part. They were not thrown away. And then there is a third layer, which is composed of pietre a candela, the technical name of another kind of stone. And pietre a candela are used um, as the structure of the trullo. So thanks to uh, these three layers, um, the, the, the structure is very solid. And river, rainwater does not penetrate. Rainwater does not enter. Because, as I told you, the three layers are necessary to protect the house from within. Wherever the stones are inclined, so that rainwater can fall down. And then, as we live in a, in a region where there are no rivers, rivers are empty and they are rare. And uh, rainwater is necessary to survive. So in the past, rainwater was collected into underground well, wells, and then it was used to drink, to wash, to clean. Well, the stones, um, the stone is a typical limestone which is um, taken from the underground, and then it is used to build the walls and the roofs. But the stones tend to become old because they're subject to the erosion of the weather. That's why um, they are irregular. Look at this roof on the right, and then compare it with the roof on the left. The stones composing that roof are very thin and irregular. This means that this uh, trullo is maybe older than that one. The stones of this trullo, on the contrary, are very thick. Mm -hmm. So thickness is an important characteristic to understand the age of a trullo. Also the color is very important. Look at that trullo. Mm -hmm. The color mm -hmm. of uh, the stones composing that trullo um, is still light. Because when the, 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 the stone is young, it is very, very light, pink, white. But, beca uh, but um, because of the effect of um, the wind or drain, they become gray, dark gray, and then they are very thin. So thickness and color are two important elements. Well, uh, we have the possibility to visit a trullo from within. It is like a show house. I mean that it was inhabited, but the owners moved to um, a bigger house. But they open the door of their trullo house, so we can go inside. You can take pictures, and then I'm going to explain uh, how the structure is from within. Okay? Yeah. Follow me. Do you know how old these are? Uh, I don't know because the age depends on the period. Maybe that trullo was even older than this one, but it has been recently renovated.